you're part of NATO, as is the United States. The Russian government says that Turkey plans to continue buying their missile defense systems, the S-400s. Uh, the U.S. says that's a threat to this country, to the entire Western alliance. Why do you continue to go through with this? Did President Biden ask you to stop? I explained everything to President Biden. And through you, I would like to once again state the following. We were acquiring F-35 aircrafts and we paid $1.4 billion. But the 1.4 billion dollars of payments which were delivered in return for the F-35s led us to such a situation that we never got the F-35s. And we requested to acquire Patriots, but we were never given Patriots. And when we, when we were talking to President Trump about these issues way back when, he said the following. Well, Turkey has paid $1.4 billion for 35s, and why are we not giving them F-35s? And he said this right in front of the entire world press. And why the five aircrafts are not still being delivered? I paid my dues. They're not being delivered because you purchased the S 400s, and the United States has said that this would be a risk. Well, nobody can nobody can interfere with that. You're not going to give me patriots. And in terms of defense, I'm, I'm going to possibly acquire defense systems from another country, and nobody can get involved in this. Stoltenberg of the NATO, Secretary General, came up with the best statement, and he said, quote, we can't do anything about what our partners or where our partners are going to buy their defense systems, and they could never interfere with that was what he said. This is NATO Secretary General Stoltenberg. But after the United States government says to you that this is a security risk for the United States and for the entire Western alliance, can't you understand that America has a hard time trusting you after that? Well, sorry then. This is what I'm going to say in return. Who is going to share our security risks? How are we going to take the necessary measures for security risks? Are we going to keep on uh, expecting deliveries of weapons from uh, the countries that wouldn't give us those weapons or those defense systems? It's not about the uh, Air Force. It's not just Air Force. Defense systems are one thing. Air Force is another thing. Because right now, in terms of Air Force, maybe the United States won't, won't maintain the F-16 program. I don't have such a guarantee that the Americans will continue with the F-16 provision. If that will be interrupted, then we will be forced to take other measures. So it sounds like you still intend to buy another round of these S-400, of these Russian missile systems. In the future, nobody will be able to interfere in terms of what kind of defense systems we acquire, from which country, at what level. Nobody can interfere with that. We are the only ones to make such decisions. We are a country with 84 million inhabitants, and we are very resolute in terms of our defense systems and the necessary measures to be taken, and nobody can interfere with that. That sounds like a yes. Of course, of course, yes.